Recently, we sat down with members of the Barnett family who are fourth generation Devonians. We discussed some of the more memorable times of life as Devonport High School students. The Barnett family tree boasts a phenomenal 22 Devonians spanning across 75 years. The family's active engagement with the school has seen members hold student leadership positions, including several heads of the student representatives. Here are some of their stories. I'm our Eileen. <laughs> I was Eileen Howell, but nobody said the name very well in those days. I was just Eileen Howell. Right, so my name is Bron Murphitt. I think my mother calls me Bronwyn. And, um, but I was a, I was a Barnett when I came here. Molly Archer and I came to Devonport High School between 2009 and 2012. Oh that was sooner after the war started, the Second World War started in 1939. But uniform was the important word, and uh, navy tunics, box pleated, um, long sleeved white blouses, buttoned to the neck, a school tie with red, green, and brown stripes on it. Brown, <laughs> very brown, <laughs> with a tunic, the belt. But as he developed, sort of slipped down the back. Um, brown jumper, brown shirt, and worst of all, brown socks. But you had a red and green tie that we were going to do. And the thing was, you had to not have white socks. So we used to stick our white socks in coffee and pretend they were good brown. Because we had a lot of uniform inspections. Yep. Had to have a beret and you had to wear gloves. You were not allowed to go out at night. We all went home, but you, you must go home and, and do your study. You don't go out. And if you hadn't done your study and you hadn't done your homework, you had to have a written note from whoever was in charge of you at home to explain what, what had happened. And, of course, there were always excuses for... for um, no homework. Um, I remember one lad, he went on to be a very good headmaster, but he never ever did his homework and he always, always had a perfect reason for it. Uh, he even tried the old, the dog ate it, sir. Yeah. Couldn't hang off the sock goalposts. <laughs> um a really honing in on the littering, that was a bit of an issue and there was a lot of pick up 20 pieces before you go inside. Um, anyone that didn't wear their um, PE clothes had to walk laps. I don't know, they're the only ones that come to mind. It wasn't anything ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, actually, Mr. Cameron, if you were swinging on your chair, he'd take your chair and you'd have to kneel for the rest of the lesson. I don't know if he still did that after that, but... <laughs> um, I loved all my teachers. <laughs> um, Ms. Mack was definitely one of my favourites. Um, I'm still good friends with her. Um, LJ, Mr. Jordan, uh, he was my homeroom teacher for a while and I always used to go and sit with them in the gym office at lunch. Um, who else? Russ was pretty good, she ran the SRC. Um, Mrs. Hills, I love Mrs. Hills. Look, they were all pretty good, I didn't really have any duds. <laughs> well, I was fortunate that I liked all my teachers, except one, and I think they liked me. They were certainly very, very helpful. And Mr. Briggs too was a very fatherly because my army, my father had gone into the army for the second time and Mr. Briggs 
took a fatherly interest in me, which I didn't always appreciate, but, but he meant well. I loved high school. High school was, and still is, my best school years. Um, it was just like a big family. I loved it. And I, you sort of lose that a little bit in college and, and uni. Um, but yeah, you know, that feeling of belonging and everybody knew everybody and all the teachers knew all the students. And it's probably just, just the general vibe of fitting in and that sort of thing. Oh, it, it, it must have meant a heck of a lot. I always believed it was the best school of all, <laughs> which was the last line of our school song from those days. Um, and I, I always liked to learn of people that went to Devonport High. I always thought it'd be nice if we had a secret handshake, you know, DPS, yeah, uh, DHS, I mean, sorry. But um, when, when our children had to make a choice whether to leave the West Coast and go to high school, where would they go? And I said Devonport High. We would like to thank all the members of the Wider Barnett family for their time and contribution in the making of our school, our family.